Hey guys, Mickey Boker here. I just finished doing day six of Sean week. Today was speed 4.0. As you can imagine, it was an intense cardio day, which I'm not necessarily the best at cardio, but I love Sean T kind of cardio because it's strength training and cardio. You're not just sitting there like on a treadmill for 45 minutes doing the same motion. It was really, really heavy on the upper body work. Lots of planks, lots of push-ups, lots of snap jumps, all that good stuff. So I really felt like I had an amazing <laughs> upper body and cardio workout at the same time. What I really, really appreciated about this workout is that I just had to keep going and because it was so intense and so hard, I was trying to stay not in the modified version, which is really nice that you have the modified version, but I was like trying to do the, the, the full version of every move every single time. And so in the end, around the 15 minute mark, every two minutes for a good solid eight minutes, I would say, from like 15 to down to seven minutes, I was just taking a break every two minutes. I had to pause the video, catch my breath, keep continue doing it because it was really, really intense. I honestly don't know how the people in the workout videos have that kind of energy. They are insanely fit because it is not a workout for the week. So if you like cardio workouts, this is your jam like for real it was so intense after I was done with my workout I literally sat on my mat for a good 20 minutes just scrolling on my Instagram just trying to calm down and like getting my heart rate back down and then I only then did my my cool down so it was really really good I definitely recommend it I'm super impressed with this program yes it's only a week it's seven full days of workouts but every single day really brings up like a harder level and it really feels makes you feel like even a short period of time you're making progress and that you're really doing something i love finishing a workout knowing that i actually earned my workout i actually burned calories and i really did some good damage to my body i don't like to work out and feel like mm, i didn't really push myself today like whenever any one of these workouts, you definitely have to push yourself through. Um, I really believe that even if you're an elite athlete, this would give you your run for your money. So I really, really, really love that about this program. Tomorrow will be the last day of the program, which I'm excited about. It's supposed to be pretty tough. That's what he said in the, in the beginning of the workout. So I'm really excited to see what um, seven days has in store for me. I did not take a before photo, which is such a bummer um, for me that is the best way to show progress is pictures because the scale really can be so fickle and such a liar and so I kind of basically stop weighing myself more than like once or twice a year just to see what range I'm in and even then I don't really pay attention because at even though my clothes um, fit looser and looser you know at, um, as the months go on every time I step on the scale I I'm heavier so I really don't use that as a measure because I feel like I look better than I ever have and I'm definitely at my fittest stage, but for some reason I'm on the heavy side when it comes to the scale, so I don't really use that as a measure anymore. I love progress photos. That really is the best way. I have an app where um, I check in every single day with my clients and we post our progress photos in there so I can see a nice progressive snapshot of how I'm doing and I feel like that is way more encouraging than any other form of tracking progress as far as weight or how you look. It really depends on your fitness goals. For me, I just want to get better. I want to train harder. I want to train faster and that's really my fitness goal is just to get stronger and not necessarily lose weight or tone up or anything. I really just want to become a badass athlete. So that is what works for me. Everyone is different. You can have to measure um, for yourself what you think is important to you in your fitness goals um, and run with that, figure out a way to track that kind of progress, whether it's measuring yourself or stepping on the scale, taking progress photos, it's all good. So tomorrow I'll be filming the last day of the workout. It has been an intense week. I usually like to take a rest day on my sixth day of working out. So this was different for me to work out. And in the beginning, I really didn't want to work out, but of course nobody regrets a workout. So I'm happy that I got it done, especially for the sake of recording this um, 
full seven day program to see how I really feel and you know the progress that you can make in such a short period of time because I know for me in the beginning when I first started on my fitness journey I really 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 would quit very fast if I didn't see progress immediately. So I think this is a great way for people that are new into fitness to see instant results and not get discouraged because this whole thing is about, you know, doing it for a week and then giving you the motivation to continue doing it for longer, a month, a year, for life. And I really love that about this program that they really thought about where people really lack in motivation is just getting that quick win in the beginning. So this is definitely an amazing workout for that quick win in the beginning if you're just starting on your fitness journey. So I hope you like this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it. And if you really, really liked it, you could subscribe to my channel. I will be back tomorrow with the last and final day of Sean Week. Bye guys.